hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So, today by the title, we are doing part five of episode because I have no life and this is as romantic as my life gets and you guys like it because I don't know why, but you think I'm funny. I'm not, so. Yeah, so let's just get into the game. Okay. All right, so where we left off, I was about to get arrested because we're criminals. Okay, so there they are. Freeze right there. <gasps> Pitch. Go, go, go. <laughs> Woohoo! Uh -huh. Hello, officers. Having a nice night? Ugh, they look really upset. All right. This is amazing. I've never been in a limo before. Me too, cause we're poor. I'm so glad we took it. Really? Classy girl like you? I prefer more exotic cars, like Shelby Cobras that end up at the bottom of the lakes. Cute. You may have a face like an angel, but I don't believe for a second you're innocent. Tell me, what's the baddest thing you've ever done? Meet you. <gasps> Let's turn it into a game. Truth or dare, you in? Totally, I pick truth. I dare you to tell me the worst thing you've ever done. Okay, first of all, they're playing the game completely wrong. So, do y'all know how to play truth or dare? Cause I don't think this is how it goes. <laughs> um, I'm gonna tell him I lied to a friend because we're already so many lies and yeah. I hurt someone really close to me once. Yeah, my best friend. How? I broke a promise to him. I guess it was for a good reason. At least that's what I told myself. It wasn't, sis. Going out with a guy is not a good reason. Get your priorities straight, honey. <laughs> but it still felt crappy. I've never let him down like this before. Well, if he's your best friend, I'm sure he'll understand. I hope so. Your turn. Truth or dare? I might choose dare. I dare. Okay, they're definitely playing this game completely wrong. <laughs> Anyways. I dare you to stand up with Wait, 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 hold up. I dare you to stand up with me through the moon roof and make out with me. Okay, y'all need. Okay. Challenge accepted. They're really. Y'all are really making out on the. You know there's people that can see you, right? You nasty. Snap the little nasty. I'll just take the other one, you nasty. And kiss we did. It was like a scene from a trashy romance novel crossed with a teenage dream. You got trashy down, right? <laughs> but with a lot more wind and roadside hazards. Oh my god, this girl. She has no, no, she has no respect for herself. Honey, no, what are you doing? In a word, perfect. When this becomes, on, when this goes on the internet, we'll figure it out. Yes, this is Officer Haynes. I'd like to report a stolen limo traveling down I-88. Set up a roadblock and stop any limo that comes through. You're, you're not very nice, Officer Haynes. So, what should we toast to? Being hoes. To us. To you and me. To you and me. You and me, baby. Damn. What was that? Sorry folks, looks like some kind of rod, rod, <laughs> roadblock ahead. <laughs> they look so concerned. You two must have really pissed someone off. There's a cop car blocking traffic ahead. Looks like they're inspecting every vehicle. You guys better cut across the block. I'll lead them away. Thanks, they would have totally caught us back there. 
You're on the list for the party, but you need to dress up first. It's a pool party and you'll want to dress to impress. Where the heck are we gonna find swimsuits at this time of night? I don't know, just go in your underwear and bra because you're already a hoe, Jennifer. Relax, Roxy hooked you up with her personal stylist. Just stop by El Boutique on your way to the party. Thanks so much, dude. Rose, let's go. I don't know why they run. Can they just walk like normal people? Uh, to be young, you would like to know. As much as I love last minute getaways, we gotta haul our butts to that party ASAP. That crazy cop's not gonna stop till we're in county lockup. We need transport. And my motorcycle's still gone. No shit. Why don't you just steal a car? <gasps> okay. Are you dumb? You're actually dumb. What? I was joking. Or were you? Um, obviously, dumbass. What should we do? Let Axel snag you some wheels, take a train? Hell no, I'm already a fugitive. Ain't nobody, no, we're not stealing a car. We're taking the damn train. Or we could take the train and avoid another felony. Mm, good idea. Fair enough. I knew you were a smart one. Yeah, unlike you. Follow me. Stupid asses. We better hurry. The train's about to leave. I love how she's like putting it like. <gasps> okay, he's like not running with her. So. Hold, Hold the, train. the train! She's pregnant and about to blow! What the heck? Look, it worked. They stopped the train. Let's go. Okay, if someone was pregnant, wouldn't you like, like go to the hospital like, and take an Uber or something? I don't know. Oh my god, these people are so weird. See, there are ways to solve problems without stealing stuff. Yeah, thief. Where's the fun in that? Uh, not getting arrested? Though, I gotta admit, this is definitely one of the best dates I've ever had. Guess you've never had a partner in crime like me before. That's nothing you should be proud about, Jennifer. No, not like you. And yet we barely know anything about each other. Let's change that. What do you want to know? Hmm. Let's ask him about... Let's ask him if he's ever been in love. <laughs> Have you ever been in love? Next question. Okay, you obviously have issues, my friend. Okay? <laughs> Someone sensitive? Is that what you really want to know? If I've been in love or how many times I've made it? Uh, gross. No. I want to know if you've ever fallen madly, deeply, truly in love. Like, with me, because you've only known me for, like, one night. So, like, that's long enough to know someone, right? Like, yeah. You think that exists, and you don't? I think it's a fairy tale. Then I think it's time for me to move on to the next boy. <laughs> Even fairy tales have some basis in reality, like Romeo and Juliet. Exactly. So remind me how that ends? Um, not well, I guess. Mm, they die. But I guess it's kind of the similarity because you guys are going to jail. Kind of. Kind of similar. <laughs> Things fall apart, Rose. That's why I prefer to live in the moment. If you don't want to get your heart broken, you should too. Is that a warning? No, I, I didn't mean it that way. Hey, looks like we've arrived. Girl, I think you chose the wrong man because like, he, he just wants fun. And he wants... Yeah, he just wants fun, honey. Like, it's time to go on to someone else, you know? The Grove. Oh my god. Whoa, this is El Boutique? This is where all the celebrities and models shop. Then I guess you'll feel right at home. Can I borrow your credit card? Because, like, I don't got money. <laughs> yeah, she's laughing because she has no money. She's like... I don't know how to tell him this, but I'm broke. Like, I'm really broke. 
You must be Rose and Axel. Welcome to El Boutique. You ready for the party of the century? Absolutely, we can't wait. Well, you're gonna need a stunning swimsuit first. This is a pool party, so you need to dress to impress. Especially if you wanna be part of the swimsuit photo shoot tonight. Oh my God. We definitely can't show up wearing these clothes. Besides, I'd love to see you in a sexy swimsuit tonight. Enough. If tonight's gonna get steamy, I need to look killer. <sighs> Jennifer, are you planning on you losing your V card? Honey, you've only known him for about a day. <laughs> Axel, help yourself with anything in the men's section. Rose, follow me. Okay, bye. Oh my god, look at my man, he has a six pack. Oh my god. What color trunk should Axel wear? Let's see, what is, okay, blue, mm, can we like try something else? And purple, ooh, I like purple, I like a matting color. <laughs> yes, is she ready? Can I turn around? Only if you're ready to eat your heart out. Oh, he looks shook, honey. Okay, why are you wearing heels? Oh my god, she really looks like a prostitute. <laughs> oh my god, you really be looking like a prostitute. <sighs> Let's see. Try a different color. Blue. Ew, the blue is like hideous. Atrocious. Pink. Oh my god, pink kind of goes with my hair. But like red is like, oh my god, she's a hooker. Like, yeah, she's ready. So we're gonna go for red. So, what do you think? Oh my god, wow. Just... You know, what? Maybe we should just skip the party and get a room. <sighs> You're disgusting. I am not doing anything with you, Axel, because you are a pig. Ew, and she's laughing. She likes it. Okay. Seriously, though, you look insanely gorgeous, Rose. Thanks, honey boo boo. <laughs> Thanks. I feel so sexy. <laughs> Usually you're like you really don't say that like I feel sexy you're like like girl what you're gonna totally show everyone up. I agree, you look amazing and you totally own that party. We can even jump in the pool together and make this night unforgettable. Clothing optional. No, it's not. It's staying on, honey. Oh my god, I have to wear this. We're gonna be a hoe, so I'm buying it. <laughs> this is the one. Let's go party. Let's do this. Okay, weirdo. Oh my god, they dance so weird. They literally dance like this, like they're about to go for a run. Whoa, check out those two. What? Turn around. Who are they? They must be models. Okay, that guy's like really pale. Whoa. She's clearly the hottest girl here. Hey, I heard that. Okay, this guy looks kind of creepy. Smile for Stars Magazine. Oh my god. Thanks. You guys look incredible. I know. Whoa, this view is amazing. I agree. It's a hell of a view. Cheesy, but I'll take it. I can't believe we got away from those cops. I'm starting to believe anything when it comes to you. So you ready for this? Walking into the party of the century with the hottest girl in town? Definitely. So glad we rode that lemon dressed up. Totally worth it. Shall we? Isn't that the limo driver? Oh yeah. Hey you two, looking good. Thanks buddy. The performance is starting soon, but first we need some swimsuit models for a photo shoot. Photo shoot? For Stars Magazine, you two look the part. You up for it? Of course, we'd love to. Great, go on inside. <gasps> oh my god, that, <gasps> buddy, buddy, that's the officer, oh my god. Hi, I hear there's a party tonight and. No, just now. Yep, yeah, bye, bitch, bye. Walk out, goodbye. Adios amigos, bye. Oh my God, this girl's really twerking her booty. Photo shoot, huh? You must have really made an impression. 
Where are my models? I think he means us. Finally, I was beginning to think you wouldn't show. Well, we're here. What do you want us to do? Strike a pose, something sexy. Oh my god, strike a dramatic pose or a flirt? I'm gonna do a dram. Okay, a flirty pose. Beautiful. Now show me something fierce. Swipe like a growl like a tiger? Oh my god, I'm gonna just swipe like a panther. Fantastic, gorgeous, immaculate. Last pose. I want to see you dance like there's no tomorrow. Dance like there's no tomorrow. Oh my god, why does she keep grinding on him? I'm really concerned. I'm really, really concerned. Magnificent, you two killed it. I said you can stop dancing now. So weird. Now go on and get out of my sight. You peasants. <laughs> Let's go mingle. Oh my god. Someone get me my drink. Anger issues. So I said, listen, love, you want me to play the song you gave me or you want to find a new guitarist? I can't believe you told the queen of pop she sounds pitchy. Yeah, I've only ever heard that word used on so you think you can sing? You watch reality singing competition shows? Busted. Guilty. They laugh a lot. Funny. The dude and do wait what the duke and douches of translexitonia i don't know how to say that don't come at me thanks that's us i can't say i've ever heard of it because it sounds like buffoonery it's a small country but very wealthy in fact we're considering buying this hotel darling would you like to buy this hotel <laughs> Do you even know how to play that thing? Rose, Rose, you make me want to take off my clothes, clothes. She's looking so hot tonight. Oh my God, this is, this, this is horrible. And I'm having nasty thoughts tonight. And I want to pull her in a closet for seven minutes of heaven. Tonight, you're freaking weird. Oh my god, this is disgusting. This this is disgusting. I don't know why I chose this game. This is disgusting. To double identities or triple if you're me. <laughs> and undiscovered talents. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, a bet's a bet. You promised me your deepest, darkest secret if we got into the party. Oh, come on. We're having so much fun. Let's forget about secrets. Uh-oh, is Axel Spencer afraid? I'm not afraid. Then what are you hiding? Fine, you really want to know my deepest, darkest secret? Um, he seems uncomfortable. Should I press him? Um, yeah, you press him. A bet's a bet, bit. Like, I want to know. Uh, yeah, I actually do. If I'm spending the night with you... I promise I won't judge. I was in love once. Um, I'm gonna ask when he fell in love because like, I don't really care who he fell in love with. Really? How long ago? I guess it was two years ago. So like when you were like 12? <gasps> so she went to a different school. In a way, she was kind of like you, fearless and unique. Not like the other girls at school. So why did it end? Well, the girl I fell in love with was based on a lie. The person she really was, was well, complicated. I was into her 100%, but to her, I was just another experience. I'm sorry, Axel. I'm not, she taught me how it is. Everyone talks about how great love is, but being in love means being completely honest. That's a good thing, right? Is it? What if you find out the person you loved is someone else? In the real world, you fall in love with fantasy. Uh oh, this is starting to sound like my story. And wake up next to the ugly, wait, and wake up next to the ugly secrets they hide. I see. 
I like you, Rose. I'm having the time of my life. I just want to keep it that way. Um, bitch, that's your choice and not mine. If you don't want to be my man, like, 100%, then, like, you need to go find someone else. Okay? Okay. Simple and fun. Right. Simple and fun. Come on. Let's go dance. Uh, it's making me very concerned. Get yourself together, Jennifer. You know exactly what this is. Just have fun and get into the fantasy. <sighs> Let's just brush it off and like keep on adding on to the lies, cause why not? Um, she's singing with Roxy, beautiful. Go Rose! I wanna hear everyone scream. Riddle me this. What's wrong with the little fantasy? After all, I had my prince charming. <laughs> And he had his rose. As long as we play our parts, nobody gets hurt. Ugh. I don't know if this is like a rap or like she's actually singing. It feels like it's a rap, you know? Right? Why is she? I'm so confused. Is she talking, singing, or rapping? Like, I don't understand. I, I just, I don't understand. Oh, they're in the hot tub. Huh? <laughs> Things are getting steamy. <sighs> I had an incredible night, Rose. I wish it didn't have to end. Me too. So, when do I get to see you again? Depends on what you have in mind. Tell me, tell you what. Give me your number and I'll call you sometime. Hmm, I can't exactly give him Jennifer's number or if he'll discover my true identity. Look, I have a cousin who goes to your school. Really? Really? What's her name? Jennifer Smith? Jennifer Stewart? Stewart. I don't know. Whatever. Jennifer Stewart. Huh? Never heard of her. Of course you haven't. Because you're rude. And this is why you don't date rude people. Find her and talk to her. That's how you'll get in touch with me. Um. For you, I talk to Bigfoot. So you're telling me that talking to my cousin is like talking to Bigfoot? That's rude. Wait, did you just compare Jennifer to a big, hairy... Mm, okay, okay. Yep, that's disgusting. Mm-hmm. Yep. 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 And so, my night ended like some weird, twisted rock and roll fairy tale. Okay. But the thing about fairy tales is, it comes to an end. They're all built on lies. And eventually, they all come crashing down. Huh, no Axel today? Hey, Mr. Smith, have you seen Axel today? Axel Spencer? Oh, he got expelled this morning. <laughs> Wait, what? To be continued. So like, looks like my man got expelled because he is a complete disaster and he's trash and he's not the one for me because he doesn't love me like what so yeah axel's a bunch of no i just don't like axel like jennifer you're really bad at choosing men so like sorry honey like i'm just telling you the truth but yeah, that is going to be it for part five. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. What did you guys think about this episode? I thought it was kind of like really like steamy and like juicy, but like it was kind of boring at the same time. You know what I mean? Like I was expecting like some more heat. I don't know. But he's just, it was making me more angry than anything because Jennifer is just so gullible and she's just, she has a brain, but she has no common sense, you know? So yeah, let me know your thoughts on today's episode. Um, the next episode will probably be out next week sometime. I usually try and put out a new one every week. So, yeah, I love you guys. I hope you guys like me. If you do, subscribe down below because I do really fun videos. I hope they're fun. I mean, they're fun to me. So, yeah. Um, I love you guys. Do not forget to love yourself. And until next time, I will see y'all later. Bye, y'all.